In this video, I'm going to share with you how to create iOS settings bundle or how to make our application configurable through the settings app, which is on our iOS device. On my screen, I have iPhone 5S simulator running and I have settings app here. So when user opens that settings app, they see a list of applications they can provide preferences for. For example, when they go to maps, they can provide some of the preferences for map application. And then we have photos and camera and we have apps like Twitter and Facebook that use settings application on device to let user provide uh, some of the preferences like an account they want to sign in with into Twitter application. So how do we add our application into this list and how do we let user um, provide some of the preferences for our application through the settings app on iOS device. So this video is about this. I have a new Xcode project opened here and I will use it as an example and we will create a new iOS settings bundle for this project. To create a new iOS settings bundle, I will select my project and then I will select file, new file. And from the list of templates here, I will scroll down to the section called resource. And here I have settings bundle already selected. So select settings bundle and then click on next. I'll not change the name of it. Simply click on create and settings bundle will be added to our project. So if I expand that, I see um, English uh, language folder, which is used for localization, but we are not going to localize our app just yet. So I will go straight to the root P list, which is a preference file. And um, we can use that file to add uh, preferences we want user to configure for our application. So if you expand preference items here, you will see a list of predefined uh, items. So the first item is a group and the next item is a text field and another is toggle and slider. All of these items you can configure. You can um, delete them all and add new ones or you can leave it as is. Most probably you'll have to um, delete some and add some new that are suitable to your application. So let me run my project now and see how the settings app will look like with this list of items in our uh, settings bundle. Okay, my application is up and running and I will uh, click on home button and will open settings application on my iOS simulator. And if I scroll down, I see my code examples application in the list. I can click on it and see group items that I can uh, already use to provide preferences for my application. So let me go quickly through this list of um, items and uh, tell you what they mean. For example, the first one in the list, we have group. And if I expand that here, we have a type, which is group and a title, which is group. So this title we can change. I can give it, a, uh, for example, configure your app your app here. So this is a group title and we can change its title uh, under the group item. The next is a text field. And if I expand text field, we have type, we have title, we have identifier, which we will use in our Swift code to access the value of this field. We have default value and we have text field secure or not. If this text field was a password text field, for example, you will provide a value of yes, that's going to be secure text field, keyboard and so on. So the next field is uh, a, a switch or toggle switch. And we can also configure that and we have slider. So if I don't need, for example, slider, I can select this item and then hit delete button on the keyboard and delete it. And uh, this way you can delete any of these items if you don't need. And if you need a new one, for example, uh, I can select the preferent items and I can click on this plus button to add a new item list. And I will do that for multi-value because that option was not in the list. Multi-value item option allows us to create a list of items that user can select from. So uh, let me create one and show you how it works. 
um, I will select default value and then I will uh, right click on it and I will add row and from the list I will choose titles so titles is an array and I will select titles uh, a row and then I'll click on this plus button to add a new option and as a first title I will add let, let it be a list of currencies uh, USD and then I will add one more and that will be Canadian dollars and now I'll go back to default value right click and add one more row and that's going to be values and I will um, add a new sub item for values and I'll do the same that's going to be USD and one more for Canadian dollars okay so now we have um, multiple uh, value option let's uh, give it a title currency and let's give it an identifier user currency so that's an identifier that we will use from our Swift code to access this list and uh, we have a list of values which matches list of titles so let me now run this example and see how it looks okay my application is up and running I'll click on home button and then go to settings and wait for it to load select my uh, code examples and here we go I have currency at the top which will take me to a list of um, currency options I can select from so I'll select Canadian dollars and then go back and the Canadian dollars is selected and then I can choose US dollars and US dollars is now selected and also look at the group title here it got updated to configure your app here I made a typo so I'll go under the group item option and then I can correct that typo okay so this is how to create settings bundle and how to create a list of multiple items uh, how to create a text field how to rename group field and how to <coughs> configure toggle switch let's now learn how to um, access how to read these values from our Swift code so I'll go to a view controller which is now empty to make my application aware of the settings bundle I will need to register it with a user defaults so I will go to user defaults and then that's going to be standard and I'll call register and I will leave everything as is sorry I'm just add here like this so this line of code will make our application be able to read from a settings bundle now in the view will appear I will read the value from the text field so um, let user defaults equals user defaults standard and then uh, let me look up what is the value of the text field and the text field identifier is name preference so I'll go back to my view controller and now I will do let user name equals user defaults string for key name preference and now I can print out this username Okay, here we go. So let me now run this example and see how it works. Okay, my application is up and running. Let me uh, open Xcode console and here we go. Username optional and this is the value that is in that settings option. So let's go back to the settings app and change this value and then run this example again and see if a new value gets printed. I will stop this example open simulator and then go into the settings app and here we have a value for name so I will type a new value and I will save it and then I will run my application again and see if I get um, a different value printed for username okay my application is running and I see that a new value is printed 
We can update name preference from either application settings on device or programmatically from our Xcode. So let me set the value for the name preference from uh, Swift code now and then go back to settings app and see if it gets updated there. So I will uh, reference user defaults again and then I will set value uh, and uh, that will be a name John for key name preference. So now we are changing the name preference value from our application using Xcode and um, one more thing we will need to do we will need to synchronize this and run our application and then go to settings app and see if we were able to update the value of name preference okay our application is up and running I'll click on home button go to settings app and then go to code examples app and here we go I see John is now in the field for name which is in our case a uh, name preference field let's read the value of the toggle switch now I will uh, delete this and a uh, toggle switch is a boolean value so we will need to read boolean from a uh, user defaults and I will create a new variable or a constant I'll call it is user enabled like this and I will reference to user defaults and this time I will read boolean for key and let me look up the name the reference name for identifier for this toggle switch and it's called enabled underscore preference so I'll go back to view controller and and I'll paste it here and now I will add an if statement which will check if user is enabled will print out user is enabled and if no will print out no so I'll do if not is user enabled I will print out user is not enabled and else I'll print out user is enabled like this a very simple example let me run it now and see how it works my application is up and running and I read that user is enabled so let me click on home button and then go to settings app uh, go to code example and disable this user I'll go back click on home button and I'll actually need to restart my application now to read this because I have only one view controller in it and user is not enabled now so it works please check out my Swift developer blog for more code examples on Swift and I have entire section there dedicated to short code snippets in Swift I'll show you it's under code examples and I have lots of lots of uh, short Swift code examples that have already been converted to Swift 3 and then uh, you can just copy and paste them and use in your applications and if this video was helpful to you please subscribe to my blog I try to publish new video tutorials every single uh, week and I publish new code examples almost every day so under on the right side here we have uh, a subscription form you can leave your name and email and I will notify you as soon as a new video tutorial gets published